वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स माइ सेल्फ डॉक्टर मोनिका खेतरपाल आई एम डीलिंग विद दिफ्थ पेपर ऑफ एम एस सी फाइनल फिजिक्स टूडे इन अवर लेक्चर विल डिस्कस द मॉलिक्यूलर फील्ड थ्योरी ऑफ फेरो मैग्नेटिज्म इन अवर लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट फेराइट्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू अ ब्रीफ रिव्यू ऑफ वट आर ferrites <coughs> we have a material and we divide it into two sublattices let these sublattices be a and b suppose in a side all the spins are parallel and on b side all spins are anti parallel as compared to a side then if we assume that number of spins on a and b side are then in this condition there will be a condition of anti ferromagnetism but the moment but the magnetic moment does not compensate each other because of unequal number of spins in both sublattices then such an uncompensated anti ferromagnetism is termed as ferry magnetism now what we are going to discuss today is their molecular field theory this theory was proposed by neil he considered that in a material we are dividing it into two sublattices and these two sublattices which we have denoted by a and b <coughs> a sublattice that means a site is a tetrahedral site and b site is a octahedral site and there will be a interaction between these two sites that means there will be an anti ferromagnetic ab interaction now along with this ab interaction there are two more interactions and that are interaction of a spins with spins of a site that means there will be a a interaction similarly the spins of b they also interact with the other spins of the same site that means there are three interactions ab a a and bb interaction <clears throat> i am considering the general form of ferrite which is iron which is a trivalent in state concentration being x and divalent metallic iron let its composition be 1 minus x and these two these two ions they are on tetra site and on octa site we have iron with the composition 2 minus x and it is trivalent iron and on this octa site there is a divalent metallic iron with the concentration x o4 this is the general formula for a ferrite the brackets around these two ions denote that it is an octahedral site i am assuming for simplicity that divalent metallic ion is diam diamagnetic in nature now as we have stated that there are three interaction let the interaction aa be denoted by a factor minus alpha and the bb interaction be denoted by a factor minus beta the negative sign denotes the interaction relative to the ab interaction now i have to find out the total magnetization in order to find the total magnetization i am assuming that <coughs> at a site let the magnetization be ma and similarly the magnetization at b site is mb so we can express 
the total magnetization of our ferrite by capital M which will be at A site the concentration of travelling metallic iron that is iron is X so magnetization component will be XMA and at octa site that is <coughs> B site concentration is 2 minus X so <coughs> magnetization will be 2 minus X MB. This expression gives the total magnetization of my material. The molecular field acting on iron which occupy A site can be obtained as H is equal to external H plus lambda M. This is the V's field according in accordance with the V's field theory. Here we have expressed the external that means applied field by capital H and the field at A site is HA, HA equal to external applied field capital H plus gamma due to A interaction because at A site the concentration is X and we have taken the parameter denoted by alpha for AA interaction. So, we have taken alpha x ma. The other term denotes the interaction of A with B and for A with B as we know from this if A interacts with B there the concentration is 2 minus x. So, we have expressed minus 2 minus x because the interaction will is with another sign so there is a negative sign and at that site that means at B side the field is MB so the expression will be 2 minus X MB. This is the molecular field which acts on ion which occupy A site. Similarly we can express the molecular field acting on B site. So, these two expression will be the molecular field that act on A and B site. Now, Neil took two temperature ranges. First is the temperature range when T is greater than Tn and second is T less than Tn. Here, what is Tn? Tn is the <coughs> Neal temperature that means the temperature at which paramagnetic paramagnetism set in. So, first of all I am taking the range T greater than Tn. This is the temperature above Neal temperature that means Curie V's law will be followed. So, M will be equal to constant Cm HA upon T because chi susceptibility which is equal to M by H is inversely proportional to temperature. This is the Curie V's law. Here Cm is Curie constant and it is assumed to be same for both type of sub lattice that means A and B. So, we have already obtained the value of HA and HB. These are the expression of HA and HB. Substituting the values of HA and HB, so obtained in the expression of MA and MB. We can find the value of MA and MB. Now, we have to find out the total magnetization. The total magnetization is XMA plus 2 minus x mb. We have already determined the value of ma and mb. So, we can find the value of capital M using these value of ma and mb. This is the value of capital M. Now, 
we are collecting the similar type of terms we have collected term we have taken common h cm upon t similarly in the second term cm upon t is taken common and on solving the expression <coughs> i get my expression to be 1 by chi which means h by m to be equal to t upon cm plus 1 upon chi 0 minus sigma upon t minus theta here 1 by chi 0 is expressed by this expression sigma and theta are also expressed these are constant parameters <coughs> so from here we can see that susceptibility is a function of temperature and when we plot 1 by chi with t we find that there exists a concave curvature towards t axis and the result obtained by this expression is in accordance with the experimental data <coughs> further neil obtained that dominant interaction is the anti ferromagnetic ab interaction that means aa and bb interaction are very small that means alpha and beta value are very much less than 1 <coughs> the second temperature range which is taken is t less than tn now in this temperature range that means below the nil temperature there will be no external field and the curie weiss law also does not hold because in this temperature range the material will remain magnetic in absence of any external applied field that means there will be saturation effects so in this condition ma will be equal to at a site ng mu b j b a b a means brillian function mu b bohr magneton g is the linde g factor and capital j this is the total quantum number which is equal to l plus s orbital motion has no contribution in magnetization only contribution is of spin so j will be equal to s hence instead of j i am substituting s this is the formula for molecular field at a site similarly we can obtain the molecular field at b site n being the avogadro number hence this neil theory <coughs> is able to obtain able to describe the ferromagnetism which is in accordance with the experimental observations iron garnets <coughs> what are iron garnets iron garnets are ferromagnetic insulator and they have general formula metal 3 fe5 o12 here Me denotes the trivalent metallic ion, and Fe, it is also trivalent in nature, and Fe means trivalent ferric ion. And since iron has atomic number twenty six, and in the three D shell there are six electron, when it is in Fe two plus state. in fe3 plus state there will be five unpaired electrons hence spin will be equal to 5 by 2 as each electron contribute a spin of half and angular momentum contribution is zero the most common example of iron garnet is yttrium iron garnet that means metal is yttrium y3 fe5 
O12. Yttrium iron garnet is commonly written as YIG. Here yttrium it is trivalent and it is diamagnetic in nature. So, in this the magnetization will come from the trivalent iron ions and out of the five trivalent ions they are placed in a material in such a way that three iron ions are on D site and these three iron ions they are magnetized in parallel alignment and the remaining two iron ions they are in another site which we can say as A site and they have magnetization in opposite direction. So, there will be magnetization from the resultant will be from only one iron 3 plus ion. That means the total magnetization will be 5 mu b because in iron plus 3 ion there are 5 electrons which are unpaired in the 3D shell and this each electron contribute a magnetic moment of 1 mu b. So, the magnetic moment of yig will be equal to 5 mu b. This magnetic moment of yttrium iron garnet is in good accordance with the experimental observation. The only magnetic ions in YIG is iron. Yttrium is a diamagnetic material in this case. These iron garnets and spinels they are very important from the technological point of view. These materials have good magnetic properties and their resistivity is also very high. This high resistivity reduces the eddy current losses. Hence, they are very useful in high frequency circuits. So, these garnets and spinels they have a enormous technological applications. Thanks a lot for watching.